How is this a mini direct? No, seriously, this is quite generous, actually. Yeah, of course. Mind you, this is actually my first uh, during of it, and I spent all day hearing people like, "Oh, Nintendo has nothing to show." Like, this is really? like a half an hour of content. I uh, skimmed through it very quickly. I get the feeling too that um, bec there was a recent thing about the uh, rumor that was going to be a threat, but then it turned out to be false, and apparently people were complaining about it, so they decided the to push this one up. All to right. So they decided oh. to push this one up. Hey, hey, Xenoblade. Oh, this remake is looking quite wonderful. Also, yes, as stated before, because of the coronavirus, because of uh, certain things. Uh, some dates may be prone to change. Well, that's Only their lifeless corpses yeah. remained. So yeah, of course, as everyone knows, Xenoblade Chronicles is about what happened when two giant titans, which are literally worlds you can live on, you know, kind of stabbed each other and died. No way. Also, it's like mortal engines. Kind of. Knowing the plot twist about the game, Jova, it makes things even weirder, considering everything. Do you think they'll add something extra to the plot twist to keep it surprising? Oh, Demonado. If you haven't played the game and you plan to do for this, Remy, get the, get used to hear that term being it's... said every single minute. Hey, hey, hey lips. Yeah. Man, Leandro was quite was the adventurer in his youth, wasn't he? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah I just realized, yeah. really Leandro does yeah. look like an older show. This is basically our Hoven's uh, ga ga breakout game in terms of the rest of the world, because apparently it is known in the UK as a voice there actor, but the rest of the world is, is the role that consecrated him. He said it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, he went on to make other stuff uh, after this, uh, including the under new nation. Well, let's see how you do then, Monado boy! Always oh, nice to see you, Metal Face. Yeah, that's the, uh, you know, I, I, I do like the art style uh, that they went for this. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Tales of Zillia. Uh, it's more the similar. The, the way the character it, models look. It's more similar to Xenoblade 2, which in itself resembles more traditional Tales game. You know, considering that sword of a, as a whole in it, I'm surprised like the enemy doesn't try and just shoot through the. Whole... It 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 generates an energy disk inside. Oh, it what's it this? Future connected. Future connected. Future connected. Why are they Next calling episode. Future Connect? Wait a minute. I think it bridges the events of the first game and two. I think. Wait, 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 wait. I thought Xenoblade Two was in a different world if though. The is on X Chronicles: Days of Future there. Connected. No, X Chronicles is a different thing altogether, dweebs. Basically, Xenoblade Chronicles is more of the British land, whereas Xenoblade Chronicles X, that's more for the USA. Actually, no, Jova. Xenoblade Chronicles X is a different game altogether. Well, I know, I know, I know. What I'm saying is like, well, the nationalities are more USA-based with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yeah, one and two are British voiced, whereas X is American voiced. Oh, okay. So, what, the future connected thing, so... So yeah, wait. they managed to make the, the so HUD not to too invasive. Very nice. So, you're telling me that Xenoblade Chronicles oh. 2 actually is connected to the first Xenoblade Chronicles? I thought and, those were two uh, different okay. ones. A new so story. whoever is recording this, uh, they both decided to randomly jump off a cliff so and die. And you can do that in the game, game because uh, the, the Xenoblade the Chronicles is literally the pro quite possibly the most open the uh, open world RPG ever made. Like, it, like you can literally go anywhere and do anything. And you can so this remake is literally, so this remake is literally gonna come with a new segment called Future Connected. Yeah, that's awesome. The original game actually also that collector. Mm. The, the original game was by far the most ambitious game made on the Hi, Wii, everyone, with, uh, like by Nintendo far, like no other game even matches its, its size and ambition. And I think it shows because in some segments of the frame rate shocks a bit, but it's understandable. I wonder how similar this will be to its original version, like will it be essentially the same, oh, 2K's beloved series. I know that's not gonna be WWE. 
Well, that's a licensed product, Joe. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, this game seems to be taking the approach some some uh, games seem to be doing, where only a bit of the game is actually on the cart, the rest you have to download. Due to that, hi Bioshock, the collection. Th this is a this is the this is the problem that uh, I mean, Nintendo does have bigger size carts. The problem is that they, those are more expensive to mass produce, so a lot of publishers. Uh, uh, cop out on that on that kind of shit, sadly. Which is not excusable. I'm looking at you, Activision. Well, well also borderline. Rock, Rock, Rockstar, who's owned by 2K, did this exact same thing with Ale de Loire. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to side with uh, with Joe on this. If Level Five could ask Nintendo to make bigger DS carts for Nino Kuni One on the DS, I mean, why couldn't Activision in 2K? Yeah. Because they are actually in charge of deciding that, and not Nintendo in that case. No, no, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. To why couldn't they? Why couldn't they spend that extra money for the purposes of uh, of making this uh, better? Like if level five, uh, which has much less budget than them, could do it, why not they? Yeah. That's a also XCOM. Of course. What if Destroy All Humans is going to be released on the Switch? That's not two K leaves. And I know that, it's just, um... It'll that, that franchise came into my head for some reason. It'll probably come. Old enemies anyway. Hey! Well, Fantastic Four! Why does, why does Mr. Fantastic have a beard? It's why in line with his more, more recent design in the comics, actually. Basically, James, Mr. Fantastic finally actually got buff. Hey, Doom. Also... I mean, buff, I mean, I heard he's not getting buff, but... I'm not too sure how he looks with the beard. Also, I'm pleased oh, it to... It doesn't, it doesn't sound like Paul, uh, Paul, Rob, yeah, Paul Dobson. Also, I'm pleased to announce that Ultimate Alliance 3 oh, is a awesome game. My god, the Fantastic Four looks actually great, like, in these designs. Is this what it is like for this franchise to have dignity outside the comics we again? Universe to save. <laughs> But yes, As someone who is actually remember uh, the Fantastic Four is the Marvel line comic line I actually grew up the most, uh, and see them actually back, uh, like in this kind of way is actually very refreshing. Hey, Julio, have you played Ultimate Alliance? Yes. <laughs> oh, how did you like it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jova? I was asking if you played Ultimate Alliance 3 yet. Oh no, remember Joba, I don't have a Switch yet. Oh, I thought you had gotten a Switch. Let me Joba, tell you. give me some money and I will do it. Just saying. I gotta say, Ultimate Alliance 3 is arguably, I'd say, the best Ultimate Alliance game we've got so far. Shin Sekai into the depths. Ooh. So it's like Subnautica in 2D, I guess? Yeah, it's a, new I, it's a new IP level. from Capcom. And if that's not challenging enough, Shin Sekai's time attack mode, Another Dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background Watch music by modifying the audio filters. The profit, so. the time has that's come very nice, Capcom, but where's Mega Man X9? Surface. When Shinsekai Where's Mega Man Legends 3? How does that relate to this? I'm just saying, come on. Come. It's a joke. But that logic I should be asking for, for Breath of Fire every single announcement. Well, well, I'm personally ask for it. No, yes. no because, I, because I think that would be obnoxious. Not really. I mean, it's been a while. I think it's I mean, fair it's enough to you... ask for a new Breath also, of Fire. Also, Joe, I rather enjoyed what they're you know, what they're doing right now and hope, uh, sure, for the future that that will happen. That said, I'm well, legit worried well, about the Ace Attorney well, franchise right now. Well, long as, well, as long as you're not an arsehole about it. Yeah, yeah, like Dwib said. Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? And also, and also, and also, you yeah, know, one, one, one thing we all have to keep in mind is that, you know, um, they might have different divisions, but even they have to focus on something. Literally, I'm wondering what's going on with Face Attorney since it's been, god, four years since the last American release of a new game. But yeah, Animal Crossing. This game looks wonderful. Shiroi, since you're the one who's most adept, how's the game? It's fun.
So, it's just fun. supposed to be a chill time. Like, it's it's all oh, sure, 2020. Of course, uh, the Twitter account is uh, handled by Tom Nook. Uh, of course. Uh, apparently, um, what was this it about? changes. It changes depending on who they're using to run the game. At the oh, time. okay. Well, now this is the game. Uh, oh, this is and basically, you have company? to. Um, Bill, you have to do a job, but service. make sure you don't screw up so many times that you end up having to owe money for damages. Huh. I'm already working from home. I don't need work this. Environment. So, the ultimate work simulator. You with crane operation and other <laughs> but, 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 but I play video oh, games shit. to take a break from work. Uh-oh. Well, now this, this makes the, work fun. Yeah, I guess fun. this is the kind of game of, like similar to the, how the German audience loves the farming simulator genre. Or opt for more creative solutions. Do what you need to. You do can literally can and stuff through a wall. Without mean, but that would be that would probably wipe out half years. Hopefully, you're ready to join the team and be put to work. Yes, a hose is absolutely because necessary for this. Good job. <laughs> and it's out now. Catherine, full body. Oh, Hello, Catherine, full body. Catherine, full body. A lover's Switch. worst nightmare haunts <laughs> Nintendo next Switch. Step in his relationship. In Could July. Excellent. Now I can take this on the go. I just got a lot of fun when Atlus is managing to release a port before talking more about SMT5. Maybe they'll mention SMT5 here. Well, it's not Nintendo's fault in that case, Jova. Deservedly, Honestly, I'd rather just get this for PS4. He's also not I already have so proof for PS4. Every yeah, I'm planning on getting the PS4 version too. If you want Besides, the Steam only has the Cali Classic version only so far. See another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense uh, well, we, we've, um, well, we've done a playthrough of the game, so no way is it. Well, not the full body version anyway. A free mm. update for the Ring Fit oh, Adventure game will be. Oh, free update for Ring Fit Adventure. Yeah, I've heard actually good things about Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, there's, no enough, there's, no, there's not enough room in my. Oh, for a this. Mario Odyssey? Oh, this is basically Nintendo's answer to Beat Saber. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. I wonder what the very hard mode for this is going to be like. Is it a nightmare, that, that's what it is, Liv. You're going to be pumping that We're thing every half from second. Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of oh. the Wild. Ah. Oh, 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 and, and Wii Fit. Please, sure. Kawamari Incantation, be On one of those of songs. Huh? What? It's gonna blow. Your companion Ring will now Ring have a female voice option. Oh. Nicely done. Move. Oh. And you'll nice, I guess. Change languages. And now so your companion can be female, so you no longer have to be lonely. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both <laughs> and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood. No joke, this has legit fields. apparently been a runaway success for Nintendo this to the point where people are speculating that this will totally be a character for, if oh, not, not the current Smash well, it, it, it already got, uh, you know, spirits, uh, so... I'm not, really I'm, not, I'm not surprised by that, Joe. I remember, like, um, the Kinect back in the day was, uh, in the 360 was a big success, so there is an audience. King's Bounty, Bounty 2. I don't know this one, actually. Well, apparently it's a beloved series. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, he stabbed a skeleton with a sword in that word? That must be one magical sword, dude. Oh, well, the first, the first King Bounty came out in 1990. Interesting. So Master it's a long running like series. Strategist you are. Yeah, yeah. Across the land, you'll meet new people it looks interesting. and abilities are informed by the new character development system. Ooh. Find out just that next gen beatable. <laughs> Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch. Wait, so by the first one C entertainment. So the so a 30 year gap. Huh. Wow. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Oh, Smash approaches. Brothers news. I'm not sure how you're gonna feel about that. And it's another Fire Emblem character. <laughs> the scars oh, actually, of you. Oh, actually, I won't say anything. Oh? Joining the oh. I know that music. 
This spider is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable hmm. arms. So we'll have to extend our development. It's one of those. I'm still saying it's Springman and, and they're replacing these acid trophies with spring water. I'm going to say that. Arms can I'm calling we'll it. Okay, it's okay, okay. For emphasis, I'm calling though. it right now. Don't I assume that it's going to be multiple arms characters and they're going to pull a Koopa Kids with it. Since, you know, they can essentially well, the, the, do... For the, for the uh, alternate costume, sure. But that's why I say Springman is the best or better idea because, uh, you know, it makes sense. He's, yeah, he's a character and all. He may and not he has be the, the one that has the more similar outs. So. He might oh, not be the base because he's already an assist trophy. But I'll tell you, if they make Springman, you know... An actual good. fighter that's All going right. to break so many people's minds nice with an assist trophy being made a fighter. Also, you can get a free trial of arms starting today. Basically, Nintendo trying to make arms a thing, and by god, I appreciate it. I'm just not really into arms, but I do appreciate the idea of a character um, being into Smith. What is this? Uh, Joe, Joe, how can you not be into arms? You have two arms. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's a Bravely Default. Bravely Default 2. Yes, and that yes, theme. the third Thank game you. of the series. I'm so glad Revo. I'm so glad Revo is back. I just don't what get about... it though. Why was this not called Nature's Bravely Third? Because Jova, uh, they wanted to make sure this was a proper successor to Bravely Default. But wasn't Bravely disaster. Second already? It technically that? was. Uh... It technically was Jova, but they did miss the mark on a few things. It's that still a silly name to give it, Oops. though. Did it at least not have, did it at least not have that thing in the first game where they repeat the story 55 times? <laughs> that, was, uh, that was just for the first game. Yeah, that was just for the first game. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I was asking. Did the second one do that? No. No. Again, honestly, the, the fourth one breaking the second game is much better, uh, to be honest. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five The continent of Excellent. And then, like the, the previous begins, two, this one was made in the Switch, Seth, so it probably would be a lot, a lot better. Up on the oh, was there an issue with kingdom. the other two being on 3DS? Well, because it was in the 3DS, obviously there had to be some limitations because of the platform, but now it's an actual proper console, it, it will remember a bigger world, and more Remember, Joe, the, the 3DS uh, uses anti-aliasing, so every border is as some jagged, so it jagged seems to be I wonder this is the same character design from um, Oxypass. Yes, Hikoyoshida. Uh, yes. Yoshida. Yeah, y y Yoshida has done the, um, the designs for all of this team's game. Tomoyazano and his team. They made Brother the Fault, Bravely Second, Octopath Traveler, and now this. Basically, think of Tomayo Ozano as the Christian Whitehead of Square. Like, he's basically making these old school JRPGs for the old Final Fantasy fans who want their fix, basically. Yoshida like like is an interesting, interesting case because technically he used to work properly for Square Enix, but technically speaking, he's not anymore, but he's still doing it just as a freelancer. It was recently the same thing with. where she left Compile Hard, but. Compa Heart is still going to be her okay, best customer in general, anyway. I see they're keeping the chibi designs for the overworld in battle. Well, that was the well, that was the character design from the first game as well, so it makes sense. I mean, I always saw them. You can still play. see, you can actually see their feet. Uh, that's an improvement, like in Fire Emblem. Yeah, the, the, the main idea behind games like this, and like, for example, the, I mean, the first game to have an art that was somewhere was the Final Fantasy III remake, most likely. I remember, I think it was even yeah, before. remember, remember, it, it was kind of done like the same team, uh, three and four were done with the same style. Bender was the Four Heroes of Light, yeah, yeah. and Brave the Fall was a spiritual successor of that. Basically, Joe, but the idea is to create, like, character models that resemble the way the, the original sprites look, like, like, try to retain that TV form that the, the uh, sprites had from the NES and Super NES games. Kind of like how, um... Allowing you to take on the jobs, uh, yeah, job. it's, it's a staple ah, of the Bravely Default series. The feet a master of do their shit, and uh, they will give you, you know, their their jobs for you to change. Basically, yeah, it's uh, it's a mix of elements from the Final Fantasy III job system and the Final Fantasy V job. It's a it's a bit of a, 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 a very well refined version that doesn't have the brokenness of the of the 1.5. And, and, and it's not as obnoxious as the 103. 
Yeah. I haven't gotten to trying the series out. Um, is it one of those series that has a recurring cast, or is it like different cast each no. game? No, just, well, no. Well, again... Well, it's not each game is its own Well, thing. Bravery Second is a direct sequel, to be honest, so... This one seems to be on its own. Yeah. So, in that case, if we get a direct sequel to this one, this one will, will be called Bravely, Bravely Second. Second. I think there's a, a demo for it as well. So. Yeah. Oh, goody. More tabletop classics. I'll admit, I do like what Nintendo have been doing, you know, giving people the ability to play tabletop classics. Finally, you can play switches. Monopoly with your friends and be a dick about it. Uh, sorry, Monopoly's not in this game. I'm pretty sure so, Monopoly so was already added. It is already on the Switch. Yeah, I know. I was, I was just joking. <laughs> mm. Oh, Backgammon. Yeah. Well, it, it only makes sense. Like, the Switch oh, is... Oh, oh, Air Hockey. <laughs> it only makes sense if you ask me. Look at those great graphics you can play. I'm actually wondering, is Nintendo with? itself behind these? Uh? Speed. Hair and hound. I think so. Although, one, one thing that's a bit oh, disappointing... Hmm. Chess. One thing that's a bit disappointing, there's 51 games, so they're only one off so someone can get an action 52 that's good. <laughs> Usually for this kind of shovelware, it's Ubisoft who does the publishes them. I guess Nintendo are taking things a bit more inherent, especially since Ubisoft aren't quite exactly wow. even so that's actually quite a lot. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. Last card. Fishing. Solitaire. Yeah, mean, when it comes to Mahjong, I'm only good at playing the solitaire version. Oh, toy boxing, toy team baseball, tanks, battle tanks, team tanks, sliding puzzle, puzzle, six ball puzzle, puzzle. god. Really and games. a partridge in a patch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't know how to play wrong proper Mahjong. I it generally suck at it. Uh. Wow, it even has online play. And just play. Play to your heart's content against more, rivals or, um, the world over. More online play when functionality games, than any of the Mario Kart games. Launches on Nintendo Switch June fifth. June fifth begins today. What's next? Will the real oh. Master Ninja please stand up? Do, 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 ninja, do, I think it is. Do, 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 oh, do, do, so you're the ultimate do, do, ninja. Ninja, la. Got yeah, there you go. Entertainment. Battle. As one of eight players, you huh. must earn the most points. It's Splatoon with ninjas. I was about to say, this looks so Splatoon esque with the same makers from that game like working on this? I don't know. This one is a battle royale, though. Gun. Not a shooter. You can dash at high yeah. Speeds. Disguise yourself. Third party game? Yeah, it is. Gungo is a third party publisher. You know, if I were going to disguise myself, I'd disguise myself as a tank, not a bloody sign. But when people attack a tank. What, Jova? A tank is a giant, humongous thing made out of metal that can fire cannons. Yeah, so you, with your same logic, you will probably attack one. So. Well, only if I knew how to be. Also, Dwoobs, I've tried it in Mario Odyssey. It's not the best disguise. And well, hey, well, you you <laughs> no, you can literally possess a tank in Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, Nintendo Question Switch. Mark, my favorite game. Enter Luke Skywalker. <gasps> Look, it's a montage now. Yeah, um, a couple of Star Trek uh, starts. Yeah, sorry, a couple of Star Wars. Oh Wars boy, are being the, Star Trek, released, uh... the Star Trek fans are gonna come we need, after We need you to censor that, that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Trekkies are gonna kill me. I know. <laughs> so Jedi so Academy. And get ready to oh, and Episode One Racer is coming out coming as well. Soon. Nice. In this remade Dragon Hey, Ball Ball Panzer Dragon. Panzer Dragoon, the remake. The remake's I'm looking pretty good. It is. Uh, uh, the only thing, I, the only uh, shot I really have is I don't care much for the art design. It looks a bit too colorful compared to the original. Because what made the original Panzer Dragoon game stand out so much from other Japanese games at the time was their more muted, grittier uh, color style. This one looks more like your typical. Uh, call of oh, Japanese and it's out, game and it's out right now. What? To Nintendo wait, wait. Switch. What's out right now? It's out Panzer now. Panzer Dragoon the remake is out already? Jeez. Yeah. yeah. It's also out um, on Steel. Forever, forever, forever to Tabor to uh, Stealth Drops it. Nintendo well, not Stealth decided drop to... It, the NC yeah, Soft. Yeah, Sega decided to pull uh, an Apple. Um, Apple paid to Sega didn't... Sega licensed it out. It's not up to them. Yeah, that figures. Well, I mean, it's better than what we did the past decade. Warhammer 40k, Mechanicals. Uh... Is it? 
Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. Actually, I don't know this one, Vigor. Hmm. Burnout Paradise Remastered. Oh, yeah, even good. even EA actually has something. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah. Um... Saints Row Four Reelected Deep Silver. It's out tomorrow. Legend of Heroes: Trails of Cold Steel Three. I have heard of this game. Yeah, I've yeah, heard, I've I can't believe I can't draw that. The <coughs> sorry, the Trails of Franchise is something that you need to be also. Be, Mr. Driller, oh, another Mr. that game from Van and Um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you more after Montage, Joe. Minecraft uh, Dungeons. Well, X, I, I, seriously, every time I see Xbox Game Studios or Nintendo well, streams, it feels fun, weird. Well, so for Minecraft, it's, it's, over it's fine, Weebs. Remember, we it's oh. supposed to be Kumbaya. No, <coughs> no more competition. Well, Minecraft wasn't Nintendo. even before it was cool. Expansion pass and Pokemon Shield expansion pass. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon, Pokemon, Sword and Pokemon Shield game. The, only, the only thing I'll say about this the is all of this Island content should have been in the original the game. Armor, the base game, sorry. Pretty much how I feel about. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of like what I say for the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. Should have been in the base game. The way. Today we have I mean, it's a better alternate play. It's better this the than. Isle of um, armor. Well, what we had, yeah, with uh, the yeah, Isle of Armor, yeah, with, with Ultra Battles, Sun and Ultra Boon and all that. Uh, anyway, so, uh, the, the, the Trails franchise is something that if you want to get into it, you got, you better be committed to it because all of its games are interconnected with each other, so there's a lot of stuff to remember. So, when you say committed, I guess I mean start from the beginning, absolutely. There is actually a good, a, a, a neat guide of how to properly experience the timeline. Line, but it's more of a case of you play one, when you play another, and you say, "Oh, so that's why what happened here matters." Oh boy, it's one of those gamesters that has a very interesting timeline, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, Karate Pokemon. Uh, yes, because as we all know, Britain is famous for karate. Beyond that, so it seems. Form of your partner Pokemon. Hey, Be Toby Fox's theme. Oh, uh, we'll gain a oh, 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 but, but of course, we get the rain in the Isle of Armor. And yes, the starters get their own gigaforms. Yeah. And yeah, like Joe said, so we got the we got the one Toby Fox from in the roots. game here. It's it was G pretty good. Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot. It's G Max Fireball and blasting the opponent with water from a hundred. Oh, he's literally no, a yeah. sniper. This, 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 this narrator sounds a lot like Baldi's voice in Baldi's basic. So now we have the Pokemon with a freaking sniper rifle. Well, he is the James Bond of the starters. Well, the, uh, the previous, uh, well, the Great Ninja had a water shuriken. It's not a too far stretch, but this is a water sniper rifle. And he can dress up your trainer up as a punk. Yes. And a knockoff to Serena. And Pokemon Shield expansion pass part one, the Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. Also, and the uh, other one will be released in autumn. We've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Yeah, why do you call it What fall? a steal. Sorry, Lives. Why do Americans call it Orton Fall? You'll have a higher chance of encountering the gigantic Because, because, of the because, call. Call. because one shall stand and another shall fall. Wow, how how I imagine that. <laughs> <it is. laughs> hmm. The me fall down. I know. We'll call it fall. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said, what are our game stalls called again? That's all for today's Nintendo Direct um, Mini. for watching. Fall is at least a little more creative. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, Fury, there's a difference between people naming shops and people naming seasons. Right. Okay, no, seriously, again, like Trova says at the beginning, how is this a Nintendo Direct Mini? I mean, I get that maybe they didn't show as much as they could have, but honestly, I feel like they made up for that by showing a I've fair seen, amount of uh, content from each game, honestly. We, we, we've had Nintendo Directs that are not named Mini shorter than like this half, one. Yeah, they're like yeah. half of the time of this one. Seriously. It has to do with what they show, because a lot of this is just update stuff. It's I really, really get... I, I really wouldn't... I, that's, that's a thing, sure. I get that some may count them as not, you know, not count them because they're just updates and not new reveals. But I 
Woods. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, I feel like well, this could <coughs> stay. Okay, maybe that was that... just from my idea for how why they named it. I suppose that it's... actually could be the reason why. I mean, I'll admit I did forget that a lot of the stuff is stuff we already know about. But honestly, I kind of forgot because. It was pretty well thought out, honestly, on their end. Like, okay, kudos for Nintendo working with, you know, what they can show. Hell, to the point where they even revealed what franchise the next character of Smash will come from, but obviously can't reveal which character it'll be. I'm still holding out for it being, like, a Koopa Kids case where, you know, we've got a base rider, but then it turns out that the alternate skins are other characters as well. Hey, as long as it gets Twin Tail in, I am perfectly fine. So, anyway, that was the Nintendo Direct Mini, quote-unquote. Yeah, yeah, that was alright. Mm -hmm. That's basically all I have to say. It, it's fine. Like, there's nothing in uh, and there's nothing in particular <laughs> mind-blowing about it. it just, the, the best stuff to the show, like, Birth of the Fall 2 and Xenoblade for me, of course, I've already knew, so it was nice to see them again, and that's it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I really have to say about it. Yeah, they probably should have called this a Nintendo Direct Maxi or something. <laughs> I guess and you get... were... Oh, sorry, Yeah, I mean, well, well, mind you, the joke was probably related to, a, you know, Mini, Maxi, or like you get in, um... I'm not, I've forgotten if they were called that in World of Final Fantasy, but that already came out, so the joke's gone. But anyway, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, you know, mainly it was just updates for stuff we already knew about. They just elaborated on more stuff. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in Bravely... Uh, bravely third, the second, and knuckles, um, and yeah, and 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 knuckles with Dante from the uh, of the Capcom series Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, as for the others, you know that job game looks pretty intriguing. Um, well, maybe because I don't have any jobs now at the minute. Um, so I guess it's the perfect game for workaholics then. That, that's too real. <laughs> that you have to be well, well, granted, well, granted, it was a it was a volunteering job, but still. Uh huh. Um, as for the others, why well, I don't have Ultimate Iron Three, as I'm, well, I'm, I'm saving for this other stuff. <laughs> Royal <laughs> Final Fantasy, but um, yeah, um, this was this, this was fine. Shiro. Yeah, what Dope said, this was fine. Uh, definitely not a mini direct. I mean, this is half an hour. Um, people got the Smash reveal they wanted, although everyone's complaining about it. A tradition, Shiro. Yes, I know. We wanted Ace Attorney, God. We wanted Phoenix Wright, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even that. It's like, like 20 people play ARMS or whatever. I mean, like, it's a Nintendo game. This is a Nintendo franchise. Come on, guys. Um. Whatever. I'm still waiting for Majora to be a character in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. But no, Wait, uh, when you say Majora, do you mean like, fun, uh, do you, when you say Majora, do you mean like the Skull Kid or the Mask? Majora. Like, as in the second, the, the form it takes before the final form. That, right. That, that, w w with the legs and the arms and running like mad. Oh, a, that. Now that, have that as our next Smash pick. Now that would, would impress me. Plot twist, he ends up being a Smash boss because he's too big to be a fighter. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, direct, a nice surprise from Nintendo out of nowhere. Uh huh. Alright, as for me, again, this should have been just simply called Nintendo Direct, nothing more, nothing less. Um, and all that it shows is pretty interesting. Both stuff that we knew, like the Xenoblade Chronicles, you know, uh, remake, uh, technically speaking, it's less of a remaster and more proper remake because it's using a new engine, art style, and all. Um, to a couple of new surprises, like a lot of ports that, uh, once again, the Switch definitely needs. Um, like that revival, King's Bounty, mind you, I don't know anything about the franchise, so I only know about what we've just said, the fact that uh, it's been revived, unless the game was previously already like on Steam, and I just don't know. Um, but uh, also, that bunch of shovelware, like the 51 
tabletop games. That's actually a nice addition. Addiction. Sorry, di- addiction. Addition. <laughs> well, it, it can cause. Well, it can cause. Yeah. Get addicted to those kinds it of can games. Call, so. No, no. I can definitely. I, again, it's a return to form to like when the Wii it used to, you know, um, addict. Uh, it was used to to help. Uh, like with people in you know uh, old people, old folks' houses or uh, hospitals that help with some rehabilitation. I also understand that. And this kind of sorta of has the same idea behind it. You just want to play some you know classic games, but you don't have, actually have the cards on you, which unfortunate cases. But you know, nice to have an option. That I'll just say like that. Also, the Star Wars game being potentially revived. The Puzzle Dragoon remix is interesting, but. Uh, I'm planning on getting the PC version still, but I don't remember, I don't remember if it's being released at the same time as the Switch version. But uh, they said it in the direct. Yeah. They said that the Switch <laughs> that it's a timed exclusive on the Switch, and eventually they'll be ported to PC. Okay then. Um, oh it, yeah, it says even the article this winter. Um, I wish that there was like a PS4 version because I think this game would have been better to be played with a proper controller and on something that doesn't burn my PC. But uh, anyway, it was fine. Okay, I guess that leaves me then. Unless anyone else um, has something else to say. Right. Okay, well, Joe, we're, 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 we're busy one thing that I noticed on the Gamatsu article. Apparently, the J- Japan is getting, as I also probably see, a couple of particular games, like a baseball game. But one thing that is getting, aside from that new Mr. Driller game, is actually another Namco collection, which is not even that bad. It includes Yokei Dochuki, uh, Pac- the original Pac-Man, um, Galaga, a Splatterhouse, and Tavor Draga. It's why are we, aren't we getting this? Wait, did we already get that? I feel like we may have already gotten a collection like No, that. it's been actually announced, but only for a Japanese release in June. Ah, Bandai, hoping, I it's guess. Bandai Namco being weird with their English releases again. In, ge- in general, Jova, in recent times, I think Namco is uh, holding a bit back uh, on in terms of localizing some of its products, but it's a topic for another time. Go on. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna agree with what a lot of people have said. Calling this a Nintendo Direct Mini was weird. Granted, Luxury said maybe the reason is because technically a lot of the stuff shown here was more recap material. In the sense that, you know, they showed us more of stuff we already knew about. There wasn't really much new stuff here. But, honest, so, okay, I can get them calling it a Nintendo Direct Mini for that. Kind of makes you wish that they had a name for it. I do get the feeling that they might have released this Direct to help appease some of the people who were waiting for a Direct. You know, due to current circumstances, Nintendo probably wouldn't have a lot of new stuff to talk about. But I'll give them credit. Considering what they had to work with, they did a pretty good job keeping me entertained for like a half an hour here. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Remake. That looks good with a whole new battle content. In a new story segment with Future Connected. That'll definitely be fun. Panzer Dragoon. Looking keen as usual. I'm looking forward to playing that. Fantastic Four of Ultimate Alliance 3. Mm, looks nice. Bravely Default 2. I still think it should have been called Bravely Fur, damn it. But whatever. <laughs> it looks good. It, it, it should. This is a job. I don't understand what's up with Tomo Elizano's naming for his games. It's just, <laughs> like, I don't understand at all. Like, Octo- even uh, Octopath Traveler makes sense because it's eight characters. Octopath, Octopus, eight yeah. characters. Get it? Well, uh, 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 Octo uh, and Path, uh, you know, as in path, multiple paths so that these people are, you know, progressing through. Exactly. So, so that, yeah, that ma- game's title <laughs> makes a lot of sense. That title, while well, unorthodox, does make sense in the context of the game itself. Bravely Default um, then bravely second, and now bravely the fault too. This <laughs> is a this is flat out. This is this, James Roth needs to make a video about this shit. This, this is, is kind of, this is kind of like how that uh, pub one of one of the old publishers, uh, um, the, the the old owner of the Clock Tower series, labeled it in the West. Uh, but that's a topic for another time. Go on, I can I cannot ever tell you, Joe, but that the music in this game is already most likely going to be a lot better than Bravely Second soundtrack because Revo, the composer of the original, is coming back. Ooh, more good news. Yeah, the game itself does look interesting. Might be time for me to get into that series here and there. Yeah, uh, start with, don't yeah, start with this one. I wouldn't I wouldn't start with Brave of the Fault. One. Really? That game will burn you. It did well, me. Well, technically speaking, you can start with the four years of light for the Nintendo DS. 
Eh. True. There's that too. What is that? Uh, four, 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 four years of, four, four hours about this, the predecessor to the Breath of the Fall series. Spiritual predecessor. Huh. Yes. So there was a game before it was called Breath of the Fall. How yes. interesting. Uh, like, like I said, Jova, consider Tomoyo's on his team to be the Christian Whitehead, the equivalent of Square in Final Fantasy, basically. That's basically what they're doing. Very really. nice. But yeah, overall, um, oh, the new Capcom IP does look rather interesting. An underwater simulator of sorts with platforming elements to it, surprisingly enough. Animal Crossing update, nice as usual. Um, yeah, the 51 game scene for shovelware looks pretty well made. You know what I mean? Go, obviously, it's not for, you know, the more hardcore gamers, but for people who want to do that nice casual tabletop stuff and don't want to spend money, you know, having to buy each of those board games in and of themselves... Not bad. Like, it looks very well. The online play will definitely be a nice factor as well. Nice. I actually think it's a brilliant idea, to be honest, because these games specifically, at least the ones that they showed there, are perfect for the Switch because mm -hmm. the, the touch controls make it incredibly easy to play. Yeah. So. Absolutely. And the motion control is the best it's been on a Nintendo device, too, so that will help on some stuff as well. Ring Fit Adventure is looking keen. Yeah, everything looked pretty well fine with this. I don't really have any problems with this. Um, <sighs> they worked well with what they had Sorry. to show us, and I applaud them for it. And hey, at the very least, we know we'll get a direct for E3, so we won't have to wait too long, relatively speaking. Mm -hmm. Overall, right, I'd say then. this was a good show, Nintendo. Good show. Alright. Good show, chaps. <laughs> <laughs> See you for the next one. See you then. See ya. See ya. See ya.